The World Vitligo Day was marked with rising calls for the government to subsidize the cost of medication for persons living with a condition. Persons living with vitiligo are also, or that is also decried the continued uh, discrimination that denies them equal opportunities. Opicho Chemtai with details of the national celebrations marked on the 25th of June to coincide with the birth date of renowned pop star Michael Jackson who also struggled with the disease. The late pop icon Michael Jackson, who suffered from vitiligo, used his music to raise awareness on the condition at a time when stigma was high and little known on vitiligo. Fast forward to decades later, persons living with vitiligo continue to suffer discrimination. The applied took center stage during the celebrations of World Vitiligo Day in Nairobi. I've been less even pregnant with my kid just because of how I look. I even contemplated suicide several times. I really felt bad and my low and my self-esteem decreased. This coming amid rising calls for the government to subsidize the cost of medication and cosmetics. They cannot treat me from outside. Ati ivi tu, ati dayakupaka or whatever. Lazima niangaliwe ndani, maybe my heart has a problem, my liver, my kidney. Dr. Damaris Amolo, a clinical dermatologist, shared insights on the disease whose cure remains elusive. When we get such a patient, we ask them if at all there is a, a genetic, there's somebody like in the family who've had the vitiligo before. So when you don't start medication, there are chances of the, the patch appearing in another place. As the world celebrates Vitiligo Day, creation awareness took the center stage with Kenyans being urged to support the group by ending stigmatization. Opicho Chemtai for Sunday Express.